All right, happy wedding Wednesday, I feel like I should be saying right now. I mean, we did that for how long? Six months. And what we've done since then and who my daughter is that you haven't met, who is going through the wedding, I just, I've received a lot of messages saying, whatever happened? How's the marriage going? How's the house process? How is she doing after the whole wedding hoopla? And so I thought I'd interview Alex in a series of interviews over how she's handled things since getting married. So this is Alex, my oldest daughter. She's 22. <laughs> she graduated from college last year and a few months later, she got married. So I wanted to ask you, how was the whole process? And I don't mean to give you like a massive question that you need to ask, <laughs> answer, but like if you were to advise a mom or a daughter getting ready to get married, what what mattered the most to you? It's hard. Some people it's flowers, some people it's the bands. What mattered most to you? And how would you recommend to somebody getting married? Let that go. Don't, you know, fixate on the small things. Yeah, so for me, this process was, let's just say I'm, I'm more of a carefree type of bride. <laughs> I was definitely someone who didn't have a ton of opinions on everything and really just wanted to let my mom go and just let her creativity run. And I mean, it, she can then monitor prices the way she wants to. <laughs> that is very true because a lot of brides might ask for things and have absolutely no concept of what, what they're asking and and have strong opinions about it and she didn't she literally if we said you know what those costs are going to be too high she was like all right let it go but there were certain things that mattered to you or certain things that in hindsight were really fantastic that you didn't realize going into it what would you say those were yeah i would say doing a weekend event was something that is not necessarily attainable people don't think it's attainable for them because they're like oh it's just gonna be more expensive for us to host these people for two extra days or whatever that is. Mm -hmm. But so when honestly, you say a weekend event, why don't yeah. you describe what So that we is. did the rehearsal dinner Friday night. It was a very intimate event. Got to have good sharing time with family and then got to do the bridal brunch on Saturday, spend the time with a, a lot of So describe women your bridal life. brunch. Yeah, describe that. Alright, so it was my whole bridal party was there. We had all of my a lot of my female cousins who have just been influential in my life and family mm -hmm. friends. And then my mom, my husband now, Chris's mom, and his little sisters, and just a lot of different women that were made an impact in my life and that really just helped make me who I am today. Mm -hmm. And so that breakfast was an opportunity for me to not only thank each of them for the impact they've had in my life, but also just for all of us to come together in a more intimate, way before the big day where I'm all of a sudden going to be part of someone else's life. Um, and it was just, I couldn't have been more appreciative of it. Mm -hmm. It made me cry. I cried all morning. Just I think everybody cried all morning. Yeah. Giving mm -hmm. my little like toasts of appreciation for people. And, um, my mom's gift to me was something that was really memorable for me for that. It was my grandmother's old, earrings that were made of aquamarine so it was my something blue and mm -hmm. my something new mm -hmm. and why was it new because i had them reset she had them redone and made into earrings so those were what i wore on my wedding day mm -hmm. so it was that's what i didn't wear anything except for those which mm -hmm. was really special and so all around i think doing a bridal brunch of some sort to just get people together is really important but something else we did later that evening is we had the out-of-town guests come and we had such gracious hosts have us at their barn and we literally brought in Costco pizza. We brought in chips and drinks. Like it was something that it wasn't as expensive as people think it's going to be to host. Well, and let's be clear. I thought originally it might be 40 people and it turned to about 150 people. And I kind of went into a panic two days before. I'm like, how am I going to feed all these people? I had no idea this many people would say yes. So we went to Costco and I literally got well, their pizzas are 16 pizzas. slices. I, they're huge. And then you do the cookies from Costco. Oh, no, I got Rita's water ice. So I got huge tubs of water ice. And friends just sat and, you know, served everybody And we water played ice. yard games. And it was a time for Chris and I to mm -hmm. see all of the people that were coming in to celebrate us and really get more intimate time with them instead mm -hmm. of rushing around on the wedding day, having to see every single person. It, it just allowed us to kind of slow down a bit. Mm -hmm. And that honestly made my wedding day even more special because it was something that I got to 
really just like relish in the moment. Like I, Chris and I really walked away from our wedding day feeling like we got to be a part of every single second of that party. That my parents were so generous in having planned and just gather people there for us. And like we, we had seen almost everyone beforehand. So it wasn't something where we walked in and we we're like, oh, hi. Like there were a few people like that, but thankfully mm. with a very short, <laughs> a very short ceremony due to 95 degree heat, <laughs> we had more time during the cocktail hour to then intermingle with those people and really see those people that traveled such far ways and that couldn't be there on that Saturday mm -hmm. night. And so to me, it's something where if you can figure out a way to make that weekend very family oriented, but also like just very intimate with the people that you mm -hmm. know have poured so much into your life, I feel like that you will walk away from that weekend just feeling like mm -hmm. you have been loved on more than you ever could have imagined you could have been poured into mm -hmm. in a weekend. Um, I didn't know that people could celebrate me that way. Mm -hmm. I just, I had never really like thought that that was something that I could ever feel or know. And I didn't know that that's mm -hmm. what my wedding day was possibly going to be like. But my mom really, be and this is a lot because I gave her the reins of my wedding and it's not something that every bride is going to want to do. Like I know I have sisters who are gonna want an opinion in every single little thing. Mm -hmm. Like for me, it was, a, it was a surprise walking into my wedding day. I didn't know what my flowers were gonna <laughs> look like. I didn't know what the tables were gonna look like. Well, and I have been a bridesmaid or a maid of honor 21 times. So I had a sense of who she was and what she would want and then simplicity. And it's not that I chose everything, yeah. but we also had amazing people show up early and help us put everything together because it was at home. Mm -hmm. So is there any other thing that you thought was a very special gift or something you did for Chris or he did for you um, that you would recommend? Well, something I would recommend, and this is some, some guidance that my parents gave us before our wedding was, or a couple people did, actually two things. So one thing that people recommended was during your reception, mm -hmm. whatever that is, be able to take a step back and just like watch everyone else being there to celebrate you and just celebrate life in general and marriage in general. And what was great is we had that opportunity where we had some cousins bake our cake. Just the mm -hmm. two of them made it together the day of. Well, there were other desserts being made yeah. for all of the guests. So she loves coconut cake. So they came in and literally made her a beautiful cake. So the four of us were, or our parents mm -hmm. and the, the two, my two cousins, pulled Chris and I aside and we did our own separate cake cutting while everyone was still dancing and eating. Mm -hmm. And that was really special because it just allowed us to kind of like slow down for a second. Mm -hmm. But something else I would recommend and I think just kind of helps you jumpstart at life but have something to look forward to is do something like a mini moon. Like we mm -hmm. did a little three day retreat after our wedding to kind of just breathe and relax for those three days after the chaos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then be able to get back into work because you're a lot of brides and a lot of people take off time before the wedding. So you don't want to be taking off too much time. So that's what we did. And then we have our, we're going to do our honeymoon in a year. So it's something where we have something to look forward to and something to plan that wasn't being planned at the same time as the wedding. But overall, I think making sure that you have those women who have raised you up, I think, all throughout your life like whether it's like my mom's cousin cousin mm -hmm. Laura or my aunt Terry that they, they arrived f many days early to the wedding where mm -hmm. and they were really able to not only like get my mom emotionally <laughs> under control because that was a very emotional time for oh my gosh, me as, <laughs> for me as like the first daughter to get married um, it was a time for them to not only kind of just like wrestle through those emotions with us mm -hmm. but also to all right like this is what we're going to do th this time like we're going to be planning i don't know like they just helped make the things flow very mm -hmm. smoothly and allowed us to take our minds off of it so that we could really be in the moment together so mm -hmm. i would say that just surround yourself with family and friends that love you so much um don't worry about those people that 
can't be there. I mean, mm -hmm. they, they love you just as much, but um, there are just so many people that are going to want to celebrate you, and I didn't know I could be celebrated that way. So. I love you. All right, and we'll be having her back to talk about finances, buying a house, redoing a house with her husband. So thank you so much. Thank you.